Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack. You are watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. So what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of May for the sign of Aries. For we will then go into your emotional core, see what comes in um, with regards to healing or love. Before we then go into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of May and opportunities for the most part, are about what sustains you financially, right? So I got all the cards already. Whenever you're ready, let's do this. So, Aries, you have um, the overall energy for fellow travelers, right? Okay. So what that really means is that that this is a good month for, for Aries, right? Number one, you are the first sign in the wheel. You are the doer. You are the person. You are the sign that makes stuff happen. You are also the sign that doesn't always ask for help. I get that, but you are the sign that makes a lot of stuff happening. And the energy that you're having suits your imprint um, perfectly. So all they're saying is keep, keep going. Keep your head high or your head high unless you have two heads, <laughs> keep your head high, um, and just ha have a bit of faith, trust that things will work, because obviously you are being supported, if that makes sense. It's just sometimes what, what, what you do as being an Aries, um, because sometimes you feel you um, are inundated with people asking you for help, right? So maybe there's something you need to do to just put people in their place a little bit, tell them that you have boundaries, but ultimately... You are also quite supported by the universe in the month of May, right? So keep, 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 keep moving forward. You're doing a good job, okay? Now, let's have a look at your emotional core. See what we got. You have the mystic healer, which basically means that, that you're already healing, right? Um, so the, the depiction here of the card <clears throat> is this woman in a white dress, right? Some sort of a goddess, I suppose. Right? And anyway, it just means that, that you are already going through healing. So you're not going to be <laughs> more encouraged in May to heal. You're just being reminded that you're already going through healing. And then that, key, that key, keep going and keeping going um, is, is sometimes all it takes to get out the other side stronger. Right? So allow yourself to feel vulnerable and be vulnerable. Right? Because you're still Aries, you're still a kick-ass sign, right? But allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel this month. Really, really important. So I'm not getting anything with regards to whether or not love is coming in. This is all about you understanding that anything to do with your emotions, you're in the process of healing, right? So they're not mentioning anything with regards to relationships, which does not mean, uh, should you have your eye on someone, that this isn't working, they're just not talking, right? At least not to me, they don't. Okie dokie. Let's look at your last thingy, Bob, which is the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of May 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. And you have crossing bridges, which is an interesting thing because crossing bridges means to leave things behind. But they're referring to healing here. Um, so I'm not getting the feeling for Aries that you have to burn bridges because that feels different right but you have to cross bridges so maybe as you heal maybe you realize that is actually part of the problem not part of the solution right and move on but there is no sign here of burning bridges right so do things amicably if that makes sense right so but it is time for you to um to continue healing if that makes sense and i'm getting this really weird feeling is that you go through healing and then before anything new can happen you have to collect yourself you have to go like okay so where am i in life right let's take a deep breath and then see where am i at this point in time right without necessarily asking well how much you have achieved but but make it a habit to stop and assess and pat yourself on the back for all the things you have already managed to do. It's also interesting because the energy that I'm getting, because it is about releasing um, a lot for the month in the month of May for the sign of 
Aries. It's also quite interesting because there is this, I want to mend um, things. Um, this is going to be a month for you where you are also asked to remember anything and everything you have learned spiritually, right? Maybe you have a pendulum, use it, right? Maybe you should, you know, light a fire and dance around it, hug a tree. Very simple things um, that you have already witnessed and seen. This is this is the time now, May, which is also a good month normally weather-wise, fingers crossed, um, for you to to visit your ally, which is nature, <clears throat> and and connect to get through your healing quicker and easier. Okie dokie. Aries, I was pretty short this month, but it is what it is. I only work here, which is exactly what medium means, the guy in the middle, <laughs> right? So um, that's all I got. See you next month. Bye-bye.